A UNC student who drove drunk the wrong way on I-85, hitting a car head-on and killing three people, including a six-year-old girl, pleaded guilty today to some charges. A grand jury indicted Chandler Kenya on 15 charges related to the crash last year. Today, he pleaded guilty to all but four of those charges. CBS North Carolina's David Hurst explains what's next from Hillsborough. Kenya pled guilty to three counts of felony death by motor vehicle, but he pled not guilty to the three counts of second degree murder. That means beginning tomorrow, a jury will decide his fate on those charges. One day before his trial, Chandler Kenya decided to plead guilty to most of the charges related to the deadly drunk driving crash last summer. Are you in fact guilty of those charges? Yes, sir. The plea comes over a year after Kenya drove the wrong way in I-85 and crashed into another car, killing Felicia Harris, Darlene McGee, and six-year-old Janice Beard. The three victims were headed to Charlotte after traveling to Virginia for a family reunion. Kenya was underage at the time of the crash, and police say his blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. This was not a plea deal. Um, he came in and pled guilty with no agreement. But Kenya pled not guilty to three counts of second-degree murder and the reckless driving charge he's facing. His attorneys made additional motions to suppress evidence in that trial. They want to throw out the crash scene pictures, saying they would inflame a juror's emotions. The judge agreed to pull some of the pictures, but the majority will be shown to the jury. The defense also requested to allow the judge and attorneys to speak individually with each juror during jury selection in order to better determine that each one is unbiased and fit to serve. Because of the tremendous amount of of pretrial publicity, it would be our request that you grant our motion. However, the judge declined that request, and standard jury selection will begin as scheduled on Tuesday. Several members of the victim's families were in court today, as well as Kenya's family, but both declined to comment on the guilty plea. We're told the trial will be about two weeks, with jury selection expected to take one to two days. Reporting in Hillsboro, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina.